Hi, I'm Savita and welcome to my online sewing class. This video is about sewing machines and this is for all those who have been messaging me asking which sewing machine to buy and also for those who have already bought the machine but don't know how to start with your sewing lessons. So in this video, I'll show two of the machines that I have been using. This is a Jack computerized industrial power machine and this is Brother electric home sewing machine. I use this for my sewing and I use this for Pico decorative stitches and to make buttonholes. If you intend to use your machine only for personal use, it would be better to go with the electric home sewing machine. But if you are looking at sewing as a profession, it would be uh, better to invest in a power machine which is high speed and heavy duty. In this video, I will explain briefly about the features of each of these machines, setting up the machine and starting with your sewing lessons. So let's start with this machine now. This is the Jack computerized power sewing machine which I normally use for sewing. As soon as you switch on the machine, the needle comes to its position and the LED light is switched on. There are three settings in this light. You can increase or decrease the brightness by pressing this button or can completely switch it off. This is used for reverse stitching. When you press this, the stitches go reverse and it's used for locking the stitches at the beginning and end of the seam. This knob is to adjust the stitch length, 0 being the minimum and 5 being for the longest stitch length. You can turn the knob and select the stitch length and for normal sewing you can keep at 2.5. Align to the marking shown here so the stitch length is selected. This panel is to select sewing speed and to select the needle position. If the line here is moving that means your machine is ready to sew. Sewing speed ranges from 0 0.4 to 40. 4 being the lowest and 40 being the maximum speed. Now to change the speed, press on P. The current speed is displayed. To change, press on S till you select your desired speed. Then press P twice to set the speed. When the line starts moving, your machine is ready to sew. Now let me show winding the bobbin. Put the thread in the spool pin. Put through this thread guide. Take between two plates, then the hole here. Now wind the bobbin a few times and hold the thread. The thread is towards you. Now push this towards the bobbin. Switch on the machine, raise the presser foot. Press the foot pedal to start the machine. Bobbin starts winding. And will stop automatically when the bobbin is full. The thread is towards me. Put the bobbin inside the bobbin case. Bring the thread through this slot here. and bring it here and leave around 10 to 12 inches of thread out. Now to insert the bobbin case, hold with this flap towards you, lift it. This is the shuttle and this is the bobbin holder. Insert the bobbin case with the bobbin till it is completely in. And to remove, lift the flap and pull it out. Now we will show you how to put the upper thread. Put the spool of thread in the spool pin. Take the thread up and put it through this thread guide. Bring it down. Now from the left put it through the first hole here and take it back from the last hole. Now put it through this from left to right again and let the thread pass through this thread guide and between the plates here go around and inside the spring then come down around here take it up and right to left here let it go through the hole here and take the thread behind the hook on this needle bar. 
and through the small hole here from front to back. Now pass the thread through the eye of the needle from left to right. Now before starting to sew you need to get the bobbin thread up. To do that hold the thread in one hand, rotate the hand wheel towards you till the lower thread comes up. Now see the bobbin thread has come up, pull it and put both the threads behind and now you are ready to start sewing. Now let me show the sewing speed at 4. Let me show the medium speed of around 20. Now the maximum speed that is 40. You can also control the speed by the pedal. The harder you press, the faster it moves. To set the needle position, press on P twice. Now this line shows the needle position as up. That is, whenever you stop sewing, the needle will be up or above the fabric. Now press on S twice. The needle position has moved down. Press on P again. So the needle position has been set to down. Now when you stop sewing, the needle will be inside the fabric. Now let me show you how to chain the needle. By turning the hand wheel towards you, raise the needle and unscrew the needle using a screwdriver. Now if you see this needle, there is a smooth side and the other side has a groove. The groove side should be towards your left hand. Hold the needle and put it in completely and tighten the screw. You can do only straight stitches in this machine. However, there are different footers available. This is a gathering foot which can be used to gather the fabric and this is a zipper foot or it's also called a single foot for attaching zippers or to make cord piping. This is the regular foot which comes with the machine and it has a guard to protect your fingers so that your fingers doesn't reach near the needle. Before changing the footer, you need to switch off the machine. Lift the footer. Using a screwdriver, unscrew the footer and also Make sure the needle is raised. Turn the hand wheel towards you to raise the needle. Push the footer and take the footer that you wish to use. Put it in completely and tighten the screw. Now go ahead and switch on the machine. There are many footers available and I use these three. This machine is only for straight stitches. You cannot do zigzag or decorative stitches with this machine. Let me also briefly show how this gathering foot works. Chain the footer. This is useful when making a gather skirt or making gathers in your garment. Tighten the screw. Put the footer down and start sewing. If you need more closer gathers, you need to tighten the tension disc. And also increase the stitch length. You can keep 3.5 to 4. This is helpful because when you manually gather the fabric, the gather may not be distributed evenly, but with this footer it's more uniform. Cut off the thread close to the fabric. 
So this is how it is gathered. Knee lifter helps in raising or lowering the press of foot without using your hands. This is useful when both your hands are guiding the fabric. You can lift or lower the press of foot using your knees. Let's see about oiling the machine. Just lift the head of the machine and you can see the oil tank here. You need to fill this tank with the oil specified for this machine. You should be able to get the oil in the shop where you buy the machine. When the color of the oil changes, you need to change the oil. And that depends on the usage of the machine. When you run the machine, the oil is circulated to all the parts. If you are an absolute beginner in sewing and have never used a sewing machine, I suggest you practice sewing before doing a garment. Take a scrap piece of cotton fabric, fold it in two, draw straight lines and try to sew on the line. Your left hand should be holding the fabric here and the right hand will hold the fabric from behind. As you sew, do not look at the needle, just focus that the line is going between these and always ensure that your fingers are away from the needle. Keep practicing till you get the stitches straight. Let me show again. Initially, let your focus be on stitching it neatly than worrying about the speed. Once you are comfortable with straight lines, try curves. Draw curves on the fabric. In this, you will need to use both your hands to move the fabric. You may find this a little tricky initially, so practice till you get it right. Practice this many times. This will help you when sewing curved necklines. Now let me show you how to sew on a triangle. On the same fabric I am drawing triangles. Now let's start from here. As you are reaching this angle or corner slow down. By turning the hand, we will place the needle exactly at the corner. Let the needle be in. Lift the footer, turn the fabric and continue sewing. Do the same when you read this corner. This practice will help you while sewing angle necklines where you need to take sharp turns. So practice this till you get it perfect.